CQ15, calling CQ15, Hotel Alpha 5, Japan, India. Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. Now a while ago I made a video on this Quangshan K5, which is probably the most hackable and modifiable dual band radio coming out of China. Now since then, as well as extensive firmware modifications, there's been some hardware modifications. Now these hardware mods have gone through a few different versions, but in this video we'll take a look at the latest hardware modification and firmware for the K5 and K6. Now I'm not going to cover the whole install of this latest board, this is already a fantastic installation video made by OM0ET on YouTube. So if you're looking for full instructions on how to fit the board, then please check out his YouTube video. However, the board simply fits into place like this, and you have to remove a couple of components, solder the board in place, and also make a couple of jumper links. As mentioned earlier, there's some older revisions of this board, but this latest board does have some much needed improvements, which covers SSB audio levels, filtering, and some ESD protection. In fact, an extra part of the modification is to add a second antenna, which would be for HF shortwave receive only. However, I did not choose to perform this part of the modification and I'll just use the same antenna connection which the VHF and UHF bands use. Again, OM0ET's video does also cover installing that second antenna port if you want to. So once you have the board fitted, you will need to update the firmware to a specific version. Now this is freely available on GitHub, and once downloaded, you can use an online flasher tool to download the firmware to the radio. Now to put the K5 into firmware download mode, you just hold the PTT button while powering it on. Okay, so with the hardware mod performed and the latest HF firmware installed, let's take a look at the new features. So first we want to activate HF reception. So just hold down the zero button until you see a little wait message appear on screen. Now shortly after that, you'll then be in HF shortwave mode. To change frequency, you can use the up and down arrow buttons. Now if you press the zero button again, a list of possible shortwave and HF bands will be displayed. Direct dial frequency is also supported. Now to change the mode of modulation, like from AM to CW or to SSB, simply hold the F button in and then press it again to cycle through the modes. Now underneath the S meter, there's like a horizontal menu, which covers BND or band selection, frequency steps, LNA level, including AGC, BW for receive bandwidth, and BFO, which can be used for fine tuning. Now to alter a value on the selected menu item, you can use the two lower side keys. Simply use them like an up or down to cycle through the available options for that selected menu. As you can see here with the menu item B and D or band selected, pressing those side keys will cycle through the shortwave and HF radio bands. Now the steps only appear to go as low as one kilohertz, which can be a problem if the station that you're listening to is kind of in between frequencies. So you can use the BFO option to tune them in perfectly. Now the LNA has some attenuator options and then it has an AGC setting. Now I had mixed results with this feature, sometimes AGC on work best, and other times I needed to set an attenuator level. When the BW or bandwidth menu item is selected, using those left side keys you can choose a receive bandwidth of between 0.5 kHz right up to 4 kHz. Now most SSB transmissions will be around 3 kHz, but you can adjust this to your liking, especially if there's either strong stations either side, or if you want to listen to CW, or maybe you want to listen to some of those ESSB folks transmitting at four to five kilohertz. Now, as with the other menu items, the BFO value can be adjusted using the side keys. In fact, while you're in any menu item, you can use the keys one and four to adjust that BFO value. Now the scan button also can be used to change the step value. Now you'll see that underline move as we press the scan button. As mentioned before, direct frequency dial is also possible. Just press three and then just enter the frequency. Now, before we get into playing some reception examples, let me just show you which antenna I'm going to be using. Now, I featured this antenna a while ago on the channel, 
is a cross-country wireless active loop antenna designed for HF and shortwave. Now I have this mounted at the end of my garden and it's up around six meters above the ground. I've then got about 20 to 25 meters of coax going back to my shack. Also, so that you can hear the audio directly from the K5 radio, I'm using a universal radio controller, which actually has a built-in sound card. Now this means I can play the audio directly from the radio rather than using another microphone close to the radio speaker. Thank you, 57, you are 572 57, 70, hey, good luck to you. Hotel off for 5, Japan, Italy, QRZ. No, unfortunately, on the phone, two valves on route. Uh, I suppose not a great expense, but, uh, well, a fish supper's worth off a couple of hundred quid, maybe, oh. Uh, and I just got a single valve, I didn't bother doing, doing like a a march test or anything like that so it's just a fair I'll just get a single one and see how it goes and you know it's um, it run, it's been running and running for years is on that wheel catch up soon I hope uh, 2 Echo 0 Victor Papa Fox uh, Mike Whiskey 0 Julia Kilo Uniform 73 Mike take care yeah take care uh, cheerio uh, any other calls please uh, Mike Whiskey 0 Julia Kilo Uniform calling uh, thanks for shouting your name here is Michael <clears throat> I'm on the Atlantic or the west coast of Ireland here. Mike Zero, Tango, Kilo, Charlie, Echo, Indy, Zero, Charlie, Lima, over. Mike Six, Kilo, Whiskey, Bravo, thank you. 59 also, 73. Many thanks to you. Ciao, Italy, Italy, 3, Whiskey, Whiskey, Alpha, CQ, 20. Roger, Steven, many thanks for your call. 59, you are in the lock. Uh, ciao. Yeah, okay, Paul from G4 CTZ. Yeah, your signal tonight, Paul, is brilliant. It, I think you're probably about the strongest of anyone, um, but you, you're really uh, boomy in. Yeah, interested in all this on, on aerials and things and, uh, and your problem up there, um, Mick. I mean, it, it's, I have to say, that I think uh, digital TV, as compared to analog, is so much better, so much more resilient. But I agree with what you said, um, Pete. Now, I think you agree with me that that audio coming from this modified Quangshan K5 on the HF bands is pretty incredible. Plus the HF band conditions are completely pants right now. So using a small loop antenna and rubbish band conditions, this thing works extremely well. Now you may have noticed in some of those video clips that the S meter did not really move, neither did the RSSI levels. Now from what I read on the firmware download page, the latest version of firmware has removed the RSSI polling. And this was done to fix an issue where there was a tick in sound on received transmissions every time the RSSI was polled. Now I don't believe it's a major issue, but if the slight ticking doesn't bother you, then you can use the previous version of firmware to allow a more responsive S meter. But as we're just receiving HF and shortwave on this radio, I don't really see much of a need of an S meter anyhow, because well, you're just listening. Now I'll leave a link in the description of where I got this modification board from, and I'll also leave a link to where you can purchase an already modified K6 radio, meaning you don't have to fit the board or install the firmware yourself. It's already done for you and it will arrive working as demonstrated in this video. Now products like this really does bring the ham radio community together, all working on firmware or hardware to make things better or literally just to kind of tinker because at the end of the day, ham radio is about talking to people but it's also about tinkering, learning, coding, making hardware, and just basically having fun. Until the next video, guys, take care, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, 57. You are 572 57. 70 Hey, good luck to you. Hotel off for 5 Japan, Italy. QRZ. No, unfortunately, on the phone, two valves on route. Uh, I suppose not a great expense, but, uh, well... A fish supper's worth off a couple of hundred quid, maybe, oh. Uh, and I just got a single valve, I didn't bother doing, doing like a, a march test or anything like that. So it's just a fair, I'll just get a single one and see how it goes. And, you know, it's, um, it run, it's been running and running for years. Is on that. We'll catch up soon, I hope. Uh, two Echo Zero, Victor Papa Fox. Uh, Mike Whiskey Zero, Julia Kilo Uniform. 73, Mike, take care. Yeah, take care, cheerio. Uh, any other calls, please? Uh, Mike Whiskey.